Hi, Jay here, EscobarJ.com, and this video is how to think positive in negative situations, step number six out of seven. And last video, we spoke about step number five, and that is to remain neutral and accept things as they happen in the moment, and to not fall to a reactive position, but instead be in a proactive position. Now, if you haven't watched my first five videos on this topic, I'm going to go ahead and post those in the comment section below. So if you want to go ahead and watch step one through five, I highly recommend you watch that before going any further in this video. But that being said, let's jump right to it. So number six. Step number six in the process of how to think positive in negative situations is going to be focus on self-development. And this can be broken down into several different areas that will help train your mind, just help you in certain situations to think more positively. But there's a few, let's see, there's a one, two, three main areas that I want to talk about as far as your self-development goes. And those three main areas are exercise, nutrition, and feeding your mental needs, your brain, so to speak. And then there's a little subcategory off of that one of building your, callousing your brain and filling your brain with material that will improve it over the long term. So first I want to talk about exercise. And the reason exercise is so important is because when you exercise, you get your 30 minutes of cardio in a day or an hour of weight training or whatever it is. Make sure you're working out every day, you're exercising every day, because it releases endorphins into your brain and into your bloodstream that cause you to um, feel better overall and have more positive energy. And there's a quote that I want to share with you. And this quote, I love this quote because it is very true. And it is, there's so much, uh, no, let's see. Okay, so it says, food is the most abused anxiety drug. Fasting is the most forgotten cure and exercise is the most underused antidepressant and that is completely 100% true and if you think about it food when people are not living their fullest potential for their fullest lives when they're unhappy in their lives a lot of people turn to food because it feels good it gives them a short term endorphin or um <clears throat> what's the what's the uh there are certain things that flood your mind it's the same thing as like drugs for example um i think it's endorphins but um they're negative endorphins <laughs> and when you fill your mind with this negativity it just causes things to progress negatively further over the course of time fasting by the 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 act of intentionally not eating food for a certain amount of time is also one of the best ways to allow new cell growth in your body in a process called apoptosis which is cell death and then cell regrowth new cells new fresh cells it gets rid of toxins it helps to detoxify the body clean your gut and there's a lot of benefits to fasting and there's a lot of mental benefits to fasting and that's the second is your nutrition and exercise and nutrition to me are hand in hand. You, you shouldn't be doing one without the other. Uh, you can, obviously. And I fell into that trap for many, 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 many years. And I, was, I would work out um, really hard. I would, I would pump a lot of iron, lift heavy with my buddies. And I always had a gut still. I always, I was never in shape. I was never, I was still my, like my running, my cardiovascular was was bad. I wasn't really cut. It's just 
It's been, and it's because of my nutrition. I wasn't feeding my body the things that it needed. And to start thinking more positively, you need to start doing things that will allow your brain to be more efficient, to run more efficient, to think more clearly. And when you fast, you eat well, you have good proper nutrition. I recommend the ketogenic diet. Um, or a version of it. There's different subversions of the ketogenic diet, like the carnivore diet. Um, and if you follow this regimen, or even like the paleo diet or veganism, um, or just a low carb, low sugar, just get sugar and processed foods out of your out of your diet, and that you'll see a huge increase in mental clarity. Uh, you won't feel so lazy and lethargic and bogged down, and those two really go in tandem because when you combine good nutrition with exercise, your results, man, they just, they are phenomenal. They're insane. I lost 75 pounds in about an eight-month period of time by doing those two things, nutrition and exercise. And then I incorporated intermittent fasting into my nutrition regimen as well. But I consider that under the category of nutrition. Now the third area of focusing on self-development so that you can start thinking more positively in negative situations is to start feeding your mind good material. Just like you feed your body good material with your nutrition, you feed your physical body uh, exercise and start going through pain and exercise to help improve your body you also want to start listening to material that will develop your mind and develop your skill set and develop your mindset and it it's very important that you do this because when you fall when, when negative things happen to you you never rise to the occasion you always fall to the highest level of preparation. And what that means is that if you're not developing your mind and you're staying stagnant with your mind, even if you're exercising and keep getting proper nutrition, if you're not developing your mindset and your mind and developing new skills, and you're, you're eventually you're, those things are going to either stay the same or they're going to decrease. Because the more you don't practice something, the, it's like your muscles. The more you don't use your muscles, the smaller they get. And it's the same thing with your mind. If you're not growing, you're dying. And if you're not developing your mind, your mind is getting soft and weak. And when you fall, when those negative things happen and you fall to the highest level of preparation that you have, if you haven't been developing your mind, your preparation is going to be right, way down here. For a lot of the habits that you learned when you were a child or a kid or a teenager. And we all know that teenage, kids and teenagers and in your adolescence, your brain is not fully developed. And if that's the case and you're falling back to these old habits when you were doing as a child, those aren't healthy things for you. And that's when you start going down the negative spiral because you just don't know how to handle those situations. So that's why it's very, very, very critical that you take this, this key to how to think positively in negative situations and you start applying these things that I'm teaching you, Especially uh, when you mix them in tandem when, with the steps that I've given you, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. We'll go over tomorrow. But when you utilize these and you start combining these things, you will notice massive changes in your life and in a short period of time too. Um, the whole meditating thing, I just recently started doing and I have been seeing insane results. I thought that I was, because I've been taking my nutrition, my exercise, my intermittent fasting and developing my mindset very, very seriously for the last about three to five years now, about three years. And mainly the last year and a year and three months, I've been taking my exercise and nutrition to a completely different level and taking it very, very seriously. But at that same time, I, I knew about meditation and I've learned about it because I've been developing my mind. I heard about it, but I never actually took it seriously, never tried it. And recently, I started doing it and oh my gosh, I thought that my mind was clear and I felt great after exercise and eating proper nutrition. By incorporating a meditation into, the, into my regimen, it is skyrocketing it to a completely different level that I have uh, never felt before. And mainly it's helped me help, helping me spiritually and I don't like to say, I'm a very spiritual person, but I 
don't necessarily uh, enjoy organized religion, although I do see some benefit to it. Um, I believe that spirituality is between you and the big man upstairs, the divine creator, source energy, the universe, infinite intelligence, the ether, the universe, whatever you want to call it, mother nature, whatever you is you want to call it. Um, that is between you and whatever it is you believe in. You're that higher power. And because of that higher power, you want to develop that and further that along as well. And when you follow what I'm teaching you, it will help you to develop all these different areas of your life. And it may start slowly for you, and that's okay. But the point is, is that you're constantly getting better, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better every single day. And over the course of time, you will come to the point to where you are a completely different person. You'll raise yourself from a level one person to a level three person, from a level three to level five, level five to level seven, and eventually you're going to get to a level 10 where you're living your best life. And you always want to be striving to, to be greater, of course. Um, but eventually you will reach a point to where you're completely internally happy. You don't need anything external to make you feel happy. You won't need anybody else to make you feel happy because the happiness comes from within you. It helps you find your purpose and helps you connect with that higher energy and its higher power. And when you do that, results will start to come from that alone, just from sticking with that process every single day. And when you incorporate these things that I'm teaching you, not only will you start feeling better, you'll start growing more spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and you'll start to better your life in every single way, category, in every way. And that is the key. That is the, the, the key to thinking positive in negative situations. Because when you, your happiness comes from within and that fire is burning within you, you come to a point and when you're living in the present moment and you're not worried about the future, about the negative things that will could or should or ha will happen to you in the future, and you're not focused on the past as to what you've gone through and the crap that you've, you've, you've gone through in your life when you're just totally focused in the present moment, that can allow you to accept negative situations as they come to you and you don't look at them as negative. You look at them as this is a life lesson. This is just a temporary roadblock. This is a temporary situation, although it may be hard and it's okay to acknowledge the negative, like we said in step one, it just allows you to look at it from a different vantage point. And when you can look at it from a different vantage point, you have different perspective, you have a different angle of attack, you, you interpret it differently, and that is the key to starting to look at things more positively when negative things happen to you. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did get some value, you can show your appreciation by donating um, on my website. Uh, there, I will provide a link there where you can donate. And um, other than that, at the very least, I would appreciate if you share this video uh, with your friends and family or anybody you know who's going through a tough time. And subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and that would help me get this out to as many people as possible because that is the whole, that is my purpose is to help people and help them in any way that I can if they're going through tough times because I've gone through a lot in my life and these things have really helped me take my life to a new level and I want to share that with the world. So that being said, I hope you're always learning, always growing, and you're always moving forward. You're prospering, you're doing well, you're staying safe, and you're achieving the best version of yourself. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.